Welcome back to the Fanboy Cantina. It is San Diego Comic-Con 2023, which means new exclusives to check out. You know, one of the places I like to go to check out for new information is the unofficial San Diego Comic-Con blog. The StarWars.com site just posted an article about some new Star Wars exclusives. And you can always depend on Preternia.com for the latest information on new releases and exclusives. So actually, let's start with one of their first listings, which is about Walmart and its Collector Con. The Walmart Collector Con coincides with San Diego Comic Con featuring numerous brands being released over a series of days, all of which are sure to get mashed up in shipping when they ship it to your house. Among the cool ones include these new G.I. Joe classified action figures for pre-order, and in the Marvel Legends line, I really love this one. This is Captain America as played by Bucky Barnes. This comic book series, when it first came out, really got me back into comics, so I've already pre-ordered it. Separate from Walmart Collector Con, Hasbro has a number of San Diego Comic Con exclusives. You can read more about this one on Collider.com. This is Black Chrysanthemum. As he appeared in the Book of Boba Fett, this action figure is rendered in vintage collection scale and has a number of weapon accessories. For these Hasbro exclusives, you get a QR code at the booth and then you can pre-order the action figures online. On IGN.com, you can read more about the G.I. Joe Classified Chuckles action figure. This is based on his appearance in the comics. I really like that Walkman, which has a striking resemblance to Soundwave. At Bandai, you can find new releases and San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. One new release is the Star Wars Grogu Tamagotchi. For San Diego Comic-Con, there are also a couple of Tamagotchi designs. If you're a fan of Nintendo, you might want to check out the Kirby Dreamland Nano Block set. And also for the Dragon Ball event that will be happening, you can check out these Tamashi Nations action figures. Of course, there's Funko. Post in the comments, what's your current you know, collecting habits with Funko? Are you still collecting the same as you were like a year ago? Have you dialed it back? Have you increased it? Post in the comments, would love to hear from you. There's a number of new designs as always. I like the short round action figure or Funko uh, uh, figure. Uh, I'll be honest with you, the one that really caught my eye is available at entertainment earth this is the iconic face of tiger you just hit the jackpot uh, funko for mary jane even though these lounge fly bags are not my thing i do think they do look cool black chrysanthemum there and of course sound wave mondo is releasing its san diego comic-con exclusives online over the course of several days you can go to mondoshop.com for all of the listings and you can see the timing one thing that you can order right now at the time of this video is the one six scale magneto action figure this is the uncanny x-men san diego comic-con version other things yet to come include this 1-6 scale Wolverine or Logan action figure along with the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive 1-6 scale of Prince Adam from Masters of the Universe. If you're not into action figures, you can also check out their posters and vinyl such as this Cowboy Bebop poster by Tom Whalen. Hallmark announced its San Diego Comic-Con exclusives earlier in the year in a press release. So among them includes this Black Chrysanthemum ornament. Black Chrysanthemum seems to be very popular, huh? So uh, the Black Chrysanthemum uh, ornament along with Doctor Who and this uh, Funko Boba Fett uh, ornament. Be sure to check them out at the Hallmark booth. At Gentle Giant on its website, you can pre-order three San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusives. Among them includes this mini bust for Carson Tiva as he appears in Star Wars The Mandalorian. I do like this one. This is from Raiders of the Lost Ark. This Indiana Jones jumbo action figure with the map room playset. 
Super 7 has a slew of exclusives for San Diego Comic-Con across the Reaction, Ultimates, and other lines that they have. Among them includes this Godzilla action figure in the Reaction scale. I love that uh, train accessory in its mouth. This is Godzilla King of the Monsters in the Ultimate scale, complete with Innocent Bystander in its grasp. Be sure to go to the Super 7 site for the latest uh, listings this is of course who framed a uh, roger rabbit in the gi joe line you can check out this red knock variant of the baroness this is in the ultimate scale uh, but of its gi joe uh, exclusives i really like this one this is from gi joe real american hero the cartoon series and specifically the pyramid of darkness where we've got the city of dead ancient warrior pack this looks pretty cool very unique and if you're there in san diego you can check out the cobra global operations pop-up store shag and geeky tiki are celebrating star wars return of the jedi with its san diego comic-con exclusives you can check out the interview with josh agle or shag on starwars.com along with glimpses of the various san diego comic-con exclusives that includes shirts coasters glasses and this Jabba the Hutt, Shag, and Geeky Tiki Mug with Salacious B. Crumb Metal Swizzle Stick, a limited edition of 250 pieces. 100% Soft is known for its dumpster fire line, along with other things as well. This is the glow-in-the-dark dumpster fire with the This Is Fine uh, character on top. This one I think is cool. This is the DF-209, so an homage to RoboCop, I think, here. Lots of cool things. Be sure to check out 100% Soft. Mattel Creations has already previewed its San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. You can go to the Mattel Creations site to see the various exclusives across the WWE, Hot Wheels, Nintendo, Pokemon, uh, Minecraft, different franchises. I think the cool one for me is celebrating the 30th anniversary of Jurassic Park. This is a Steven Spielberg action figure where you get the director himself along with a chair and the dinosaur with that animatronic display. Entertainment Earth has had its exclusives posted for a little bit of a while now and so some of them are pre-sold out but you can still go there online to check out some things such as these prop replicas from twilight zone that's really unique and cool there are also these sketch editions of mcfarlane action figures you can also uh, check out that funko that we mentioned earlier of mary jane watson and uh, face a tiger you hit the jackpot Alex Ross is an amazing artist and you can check out his exclusives at San Diego Comic-Con as well as online. There are various different prints, lithographs, and also the 2023 Alex Ross sketchbook. Though it looks like there's a waiting list online right now for the signed and unsigned versions. Be sure to take a look at this thing. This lithograph is mind-blowing. This is the Marvel Villains lithograph. Absolutely spectacular. Shifting over to Factory Entertainment, its exclusives include this unique one from the Goonies. This is the Copper Bones Skeleton Key, priced at $100. There's also this Black Manta Knife, priced at $250 from Aquaman. In the Star Wars Micro Galaxy Squadron line, you can find the speeder bike, the hologram version of the speeder bike, as well as the storyboard series. So these are unique ones for the X-Wing, A-Wing, and TIE Interceptor, each priced separately at $19.99 each. NECA already had an online event for its convention exclusive, so you'll want to check them out at the event itself. So many cool things across the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie franchise, along with this Universal Monsters glow-in-the-dark creature. This is from uh, Gremlins 2, and uh, I thought this one was really cool, a convention-exclusive ALF. 
David Mack is another favorite artist for me. Be sure to check out his table at HH07, where you can see original art as well as prints like this one of Death and the Sandman. And finally, this is Scott C. Love his creativity, love his designs. You can go to the scottcshop.com to check out his exclusives. They will go live on July 19th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. This RRR set of designs is a must for me. I absolutely loved that movie. Post in the comments, what are your favorite San Diego Comic-Con exclusives? Are you going to add any of these to your collection? As always, thank you so much for watching. Please take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. This has been the Fanboy Cantina.